The government is preparing to organize final rights for Hurricane Dorian victims. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Jiminy Swain, and welcome to the Bahamas Tonight. Topping news, a team is scheduled on the island of Abaco tomorrow to begin finalizing arrangements for scores of victims whose bodies have been secured on the island since the September storm. Desmond Sanders has more. The families of those who perished during Hurricane Dorian could soon get the closure they're seeking as a government announced the pending burial of an undisclosed number of unclaimed bodies. Managing Director of the Bahamas Disaster Reconstruction Authority, Catherine Forbes-Smith, announcing during a press conference on Sunday afternoon that in the coming days a date will be announced for the National Service to eulogize the victims. A team from the coroner's office in New Providence will travel to Abaco on Monday. A team from the coroner's office in New Providence will travel to Abaco on Monday. The DRA has asked members of the Bahamas United Funeral Homes and Morticians Association and the Bahamas Christian Council to take carriage of the organization and planning of the burial in conjunction with the DRA. The group has been st very strategic with its preparation. On Tuesday, the DRA's technical team led by its chairman, Wendell Grant, a civil and structural engineer will be on Abaco to determine the exact location for the burial on the site that has been identified. Smith also notes that the Bahamas Christian Council and the Morticians Association will meet with family members of people presumed deceased to discuss any special considerations and concerns regarding the burial. She also dispelled rumors regarding a mass burial exercise. The DRA will not exploit the memory of the deceased. We want to make sure our family members are aware of what is happening. Discussion circulating of a mass burial is not true. It is false, and no one should exploit this issue. The remains of the unknown will be placed in individual graves. Out of respect for families, we do not wish to say anything further on this matter. Desmond Saunders, ZNS Network News.